In downtown Prattville is now transitioning into apartments and this month it welcomed its new residents. WSFA 12 News reporter Ashley Bowerman visited the mill at Prattville today and she got a look inside. It's been a years long project in downtown Prattville to convert what was once a factory used to make cotton gins and cotton processing machinery into 127 modern industrial style apartments. But the massive remodel is almost complete. I remember growing up and just seeing the building here and just nothing going on, trees growing out of it. So it's really great to see it brought to life. There are five buildings on the property. Construction is complete on one of them that opened this month, and there are actually a few people already living there. The remaining four buildings are still under construction and are set to be complete in July. The complex offers one, two, and three bedroom units that range in price from thirteen to twenty-one hundred dollars. And because of each unit's historic nature, we really don't have any floor plans that are the same. So they all are different in their own characteristics, what the brick color is, the window styles, just the amenities overall that are in each apartment. The mill at Prattville, though, is not the only new project coming to downtown Prattville. Another one of the city's oldest buildings is getting a facelift. Behind me here is the Picker House. It also overlooks Otaga Creek and sits just across the street from those apartments. According to the historic Prattville Redevelopment Authority, they have just purchased this building and are looking for a developer to convert it into a brand new fine dining restaurant and bar. That's just great for our residents too, to just have somewhere else to get to walk. I really think that that's gonna grow the community and it'll just be a nice cool space for people to go to that's different. It's another historic structure bringing new life to the city. Ashley Bowerman, WSFA 12 News. The meal at Prattville will be complete in June. There is no time frame for when the new restaurant will be coming to town.